The devil is pretty scary in general, but when you get a one-on-one -on -one message from him, the scare factor is amplified that much more. Here are the top five scary messages sent from the devil himself. Number five on this list is Weirdo. This one is, well, this one's a bit weird. Michelle Clark Miller says, Not me, but my uncle's best friend actually went to hell. My uncle was a Vietnam vet and was still close with some members of his platoon. One of them, nicknamed Weirdo, had the usual problems with most traumatized vets. He drank, he did drugs, he beat on people. He'd been in and out of jail, in and out of rehab. Then, one day, he had a heart attack and died on the table. He said he woke up in a dark place full of volcanoes, swamps. He said it smelled awful and all you could hear was people screaming. He said he was full of fear, dread, and despair, but when he turned around to run, all he saw was fire, lava, smoke, and tar. Then he heard a man's voice say, You have one more chance, Jonathan. That was his real name. Next thing he knew, he was in a hospital room surrounded by his wife, his Vietnam buddies, and their families. And yeah, he turned his life around. Yeah, I think my life would be 100% different if I straight up went to hell, saw the devil there, saw how bad hell actually was, and then had him tell me that if I don't figure it out, I'm basically gonna be here for all eternity. No, 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 no. Yeah, that would straight up traumatize me forever, guys. I think what's kind of crazy about this, though, is that he got a second chance. Like, you think about the devil, and you don't really think about the devil giving out a whole lot of second chances. Maybe he was just in a good mood or something. I don't know what it was, but hopefully Weirdo got the memo and doesn't need to go back there anytime soon. Number four on this list is your deepest desire. This is a story from a Quora user named JP. Somebody asked them if they had ever spoken to the devil and they replied, I believe so. I woke up one morning facing the wall of my bedroom. Bed was pushed up against the wall. Rolled over the other direction and there standing in front of me was a guy just standing there wearing a suit, very typical of a well-dressed businessman. I was going through a rough time, personal stuff. He says one thing to me, I can give you what you want. All while this is going on, I felt no worries or fear. Seemed oddly normal. My answer was, and still is, no. I did know what he was offering. I wanted it, but not for free. I had no belief one way or another about God at the time. I wouldn't say I didn't believe, I just never put much thought into religion. I can now say without a doubt God exists. Not because I've seen him or met him, but because I've met his enemy. My life has never been the same. I feel now without any choice of my own. I live with one foot in the spirit and one foot in the real world. Wish I could go back to being ignorant. And for that reason alone, I am happy to have never faced the devil head on like JP has. All innocence is gone from you after you see and hear something like that. Now you know that everything you do, you are being watched by the devil and also by God too. Pretty scary thing to wake up to there. Number three on this list is the purple golf cart. So I told this story in another video we did talking about the devil, but I have to tell it again considering how terrifying it actually is. Jeremy is a 31 year old man who just over a decade ago lost his father. On that day, the one of the death though, he received a crazy message, one that haunts him to this day. It was early in the morning and Jeremy was on his way to work. His phone rang, he didn't know the number. Jeremy picked it up, he said hello. No response, the line was flat. He could tell that someone was on the other end, but they didn't say anything back. He said hello again. Nothing. He thinks, okay, butt dial, and is about to hang up when a muffled voice comes up. The voice sounded identical to his father's. His father's voice was soft and there was something wrong. It almost felt as if his father was being forced to speak. He told Jeremy to beware of the purple golf cart and that if he saw it, it meant that he was going straight to hell. Before Jeremy could ask any questions, a loud maniacal laugh was heard over the receiver and the phone hung up. He was rightfully freaked out at this point, so he quickly dialed up to his dad. No answer. Then he called his mother. She picked up and he heard sobbing. She told him that she was just about to call him and that his father had just died. He was out on the golf course driving around a purple golf cart and the cart's brakes stopped working. He accidentally drove straight off of a cliff. 
From that day forward, Jeremy is a full believer in the devil and in hell. He's told his story many times and thinks that when he received that unknown phone call, it was actually his dad calling him from hell. The devil was forcing him to call his son and that maniacal laugh at the end of the call was the devil himself loving the brutality of it all. Jeremy hasn't come within a golf course ever since that call and refuses to. Golf carts or frankly anything golf related is strictly off limits for him. If he touches or even sees a purple golf cart, that could be the end. And honestly, I know being scared of a purple golf cart sounds kind of ridiculous, but if I had got that phone call, then I'd be feeling the exact same way. Number two on this list is I can't wait. I can't wait. Those are the words that Serena heard back in 2011 when she had a face-to-face -face encounter with the devil. She was snorkeling out in Australia at the time. She was a regular and knew her way around the reef. This time though, she made an almost fatal mistake. She was stung by a creature that did not want to be disturbed. Her whole body froze up and it went into shock. Her one friend who was snorkeling with her noticed after a few minutes and dragged her to shore. At this point though, she had taken in so much water and the sting was really bad. She was fading very fast. While her friend called the ambulance and tried to get help, Serena was in her own world entirely. That world was hell. Serena traveled to hell and was standing on top of a mountain looking down at the flames and death below. People strung up getting abused by demons of all shapes and sizes. The torture was horrible and the screams were even worse. Shadow creatures flew and circled around the skies and clouds shot down lightning that was actually fire. It was truly hell being there. Then the entire world started to shift and a giant creature that Serena could only imagine and was the devil took shape in the sky. It smiled and cackled and looked straight at her. Then it said, I can't wait to meet you Serena, see you very soon. And just like that her eyes opened and she saw a paramedic reviving her on the beach. She had died for a little bit there and went to hell and the devil himself stopped in to tell her how excited he was to meet her. Since then, Serena has quit snorkeling completely, probably for the best after an experience like that. And finally, number one on this list is the end. The devil has a lot of powers. We probably don't even know what they all are to be honest, considering most people who deal with the devil don't last long enough to tell us about them. Either way, he is clearly a very powerful creature and knowing when the world will end, that could be one of his capabilities. Well, apparently Bill Madigan had a run in with him and he told him just that. Bill was walking around the Black Forest in Germany, a haunted forest that we've actually talked a lot about on this channel before. He was hiking around when he saw some bright red glowing in the distance. He approached it and realized something was very wrong. He decided that he wanted to turn around and got a bad feeling, but his body actually wouldn't let him. His feet just kept walking in the direction of the light even though he wanted to stop. Finally, he got to the source of the light and he saw what he can only believe to be the devil performing some very sick and sadistic rituals that I can't even get into deep detail about because it's that bad. The devil looked at Bill right in his eyes and told him that he could take his life now but instead of doing that, he wanted Bill to see his grand finale. He also told Bill that he wouldn't have to wait very long, only two decades from now his grand finale would be revealed. This happened back in 2016, so if we do the math, that would mean that the world might end in 2036. That doesn't leave us a whole lot of time, folks. But there you have it, guys. That is our list of the top five scary messages sent from the devil himself. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this list and some other scary messages from the devil that you may know about. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I'll catch you next time.